just looking at the hinge of the rear left door or uh, for us it's the uh, left hand door of a Isuzu or Holden Rodeo uh, TFS 55 this is a 1997 model now uh, just to clarify on eBay when I look for this it only went up to 1996 and I couldn't find anything for the 97 uh, TFS series and uh, so anyway that's this fits so uh, that's the one that came out of it now on here uh, you may not be able to see it there's a little shiny bit there now that, that's a bit of the uh, that strikes against the uh, this little pin that goes sorry I'll move back here so, right there's a pin run through there now you will see various people will talk about replacing the pins in these um, <coughs> in these hinges. Now this model has the hinge on the rear door, the rear upper it's called, and on the front it's got this one here, which is a um, ah, dear door check. Um, anyway, door checker, I suppose it is. It's, it's called a strap. That's right, door check strap, and. Uh, I presume it's cool. still called a strap, because once at a time it was probably just a leather thing that stopped the door from swinging closed or, or just you know, open, so you've got to put a bit of pressure on it. The front ones are completely different to the back. The front ones you actually access in these, you actually take off um, the in behind the speaker I believe, and, uh, and go in through there to, to do the pin, but you can see the pin there on here they look quite easy to do and, and that's most of the problem with these uh, they, you'll, you'll hear like a loud cracking noise or a clicking and that's the problem now on the back one being a, a slightly different sort of setup this is obviously the new one I haven't bothered painting it because I thought once I start painting I'll get myself in more trouble uh, you've got three bolts on the front there and we'll just walk around and you can see in there, there's two two bolts, one there and one under there. Now these ones here at the back, uh, you generally can only get to with a ring spanner. The three on the front you can get to with a, um, a socket. And uh, now when when you undo it, which isn't terribly difficult to undo it, just get, have someone with you to hold the door, because once you undo this one, it's quite obvious that all the weight of the door will be held on the um, on the lower hinge, which isn't the same sort of setup. You'll see, uh, you can see anyway. There's a spring in there, and a spring inside, and uh, the bottom one I do not think has a spring. Now it it will come out when you when you undo the whole lot and, and you're supporting the door. Um, it looks as though it, you can't work out a way to actually free it from its position. Now just close or open the door I think the, as you close it you can see there I think that the door gap is actually widening I'll do it from the front and you can probably see it a bit better so if I do that if you imagine those bolts and everything are out and when you open the door or close it it actually opens the uh, there you go you close it sorry no, the brain you around the wrong way but you close it and then the whole you can see the whole thing there it just comes straight out here and it's actually quite simple now to the fitting the new one uh, we put the three bolts on here first don't tighten them up uh, all the way just just put them on so they hold in position and then uh, we just uh, move the back door open and closed a little bit until we positioned these two in into their uh, into their spots uh, hand tighten them and then we you actually align the door because you can you can see it's all all nice and straight there hang on I'll just you can see from that top corner looks like it's not going to close but there you go nice nice even distance there nothing standing up at the top everything's good <coughs> so that's pretty much it you just tighten it up and then once you've lined the door up just by uh, leaving it levering it up and down or you know you help a uh, d uh, positioning that and then just tighten them up or we'll close the door in position and then tighten it up is probably a better idea and uh, and pretty good it's all, all good no more clicking 
absolutely almost silent operation. Fifty-five dollars they cost, not cheap, but it uh, it was actually getting quite difficult to close the door. So uh, I thought it was time to uh, to change it. The other the one on the other side is still fine. Uh, why this one has decided to uh, go defective, I do not know. But anyway, it's uh, I thought it was worth changing the whole thing rather than just the pin because you just don't know what else is going on with it. So uh, anyway, hope that uh, I'm sorry. It's sort of I'm not showing the actual procedure of doing it, but. Uh, it's it's not a, a complicated job, but it, you you will need someone helping you. It's uh, it's it, no, it'd be pretty difficult to do by yourself, I should think. All right, thank you.